For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That's a great love, isn't it? That's a great God that we have. And I'm just going to invite you to sing along as we consider how great, how awesome is his love for us. For us as individuals, yes. But as Chris just read, for God so loved the what? The world. That's everyone. That's all people. How great is our God. How great is our God. And our hope and prayers that all will see how great, how great is our God. Let's sing. The splendor of a king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice All the earth rejoice He
Father, we recognize your greatness this morning. You truly are God. You truly are a God who is awesome. A God who, who absolutely fills us with wonder and amazement. Why? Because you're a God who can do all things and you choose first and foremost to love us. Father, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much that you're a God who displays your love in the most marvelous ways. You do so by giving your son Jesus as a sacrifice when, quite frankly, we didn't deserve it. We thank you so much that you loved us in spite of who we were. And because of that, you displayed your love through your son Jesus and you made a way for us. How marvelous, how wonderful is your love. So Father, we thank you so much for that. We thank you also too that you display your greatness all around us as we just look outside. We see the splendor, the beauty of your creation. And Father, we thank you so much for blessing us with that. Thank you so much for the beautiful reminders that you're a God who created all things, yes, but you're a God who is still in control. We see how you take care of your creation. We see as you take care of, of the animals, of the birds, you take care of the plants. We, we see how you're able to do that. And so, Father, once again, if you're able to do that, you're able, certainly, to take care of us. And so, once again, afresh and anew, we surrender to your greatness. We surrender to you. We place our faith. We place our trust. And once again, Father, we say we believe. We believe that you are God. We believe that you're on your throne. We believe that you're in control. And so, Father, right now, with whatever sickness, whatever situation, whatever heartache, whatever joy, whatever sorrow, we give it back to you, and we ask that you have your way with us. And we trust in your greatness. We trust that you're God, that you're good. And we ask that you have your way, your will be done in our hearts and in our lives. Father, this, this weekend as we have thought about your world, it's my prayer, Father, that we be a people who continue, yes, but who go even deeper in our thoughts about your world. And Father, while there's many of us who may not be able to have the opportunity to any, any longer go overseas or to do those kind of things as we've heard about, Father, may we be a people who are mindful of your world. May we be a people who pray for your world and your people. And may we be a people who support your work. And so I pray that you bless us as a core family as we continue to go deeper in that. Father, we thank you so much of how you've displayed your love for the whole world to see. May we follow in that example. And may we display your love in our lives for all, for the whole world to see. Now, Father, once again, I pray for our family. I recognize right now that in our core family there are needs, there are concerns, there's sicknesses, there's ailments, there's, there's sorrow from, from, from losing loved ones. There's all these different things that we go through, Father. And Father, it's my prayer that in the midst of this that you just bless us as a congregation, that you bless us as a family, that you, that you sustain us, that you encourage us, that you heal us. Whatever the need is, Father, may we find what we need in you. And so, Father, right now, even right now, I just pray that you do just that in these next few moments. As we get into your word, open our eyes, open our ears, open our hearts, and may we respond to you in your greatness. We love you, Jesus, and it's in your name that we pray.